Good morning, YouTube. JT Serenity Farms prepping here. So, racism does exist. As most patriots realize, it's not them. So let's start with the latest example of racism. President Trump's speech at Mount Rushmore was very likely my second favorite speech he's ever given, with the first being Inauguration Day. Immediately, if not sooner, the left, who hates America and makes no secret about it anymore. It literally drools down out of their evil satanic mouths. So before the speech was even done and during and after, they just couldn't contain themselves. Panel after panel after panel of American hating racist were on every major fake news channel pontificating and spewing lies about the president's speech as he was making it. It was blatantly clear to anyone with half a brain, which leaves out approximately half the population, that the president's speech was clearly intended to bring us together, unite us, form a common bond to keep this country working for everyone. Yes, there are hiccups. That's admitted. None of us would disagree that there haven't been hiccups. It's a big country. There's many, many millions of people in the country, approximately 330 or 720 million women if you're pedo Joe. Okay? We all have our flaws. When you have that many people in one country divided up between 50 states, not 57 as a former treasonous piece of crap indicated. Each state allowed to govern themselves. There are going to be hiccups along the way. But the country has always been built to be the best that it can for everyone. I don't care what the left says. The objective has always been to be the best for everyone. This country has provided more opportunities for everyone, because all lives matter, everyone than any other country on the planet likely combined. Other countries protest and wave our flag because they want to emulate the freedom, the rights, the opportunities that America provides for our citizens and people around the world. So, who are the racists in this country? Well, it's no secret that the overwhelming majority of racists are Democrats. That's just an undeniable fact. Listen to them speak. And the racist Democrats are of every 
color, and nationality. Apparently, being a Democrat job requirement is being a racist and hating the country. If you're not both of those, you're shunned by your own evil, satanic party. They, being the left, must have division. Without division, they cannot complete their task of collapsing the country for total control. Now, how do you control a country that you hate? How is that going to work if, God forbid, they ever get back in power? You hate the country, you hate everything it stands for, you hate over half the population and label them racist, bigots, phobes because you disagree with their ideology. All right? But let's get straight up about something. The left, blacks, and the white guilt pieces of shit, they don't hate us as much for our ideology as they do because they are racist. That's not PC, but I am not PC. There is an overwhelming majority of blacks who have always hated whites. It's just the way it is. There are whites who hate blacks. That group is very minute. That means small for libtards. Okay? We did away with that. 600,000 white folk gave their lives to free the slaves. But we're racist. Not one of us, within the sound of my voice, was alive during that time period, was a slave or a slave owner. Okay? But this isn't about slavery. The left has indoctrinated every race, religion, nationality from birth to believe that people who have a different ideology, regardless of their color, are racist. Because if you can't control the narrative through thoughts and ideas, of which they have none, then you must convince all your sheeple that these people disagree with us because they're racist. And for years they've gotten away with it. Because those of us not libtards, we don't respond the same way that the left does with riots and looting and burning and assaulting and murders and name calling and all that crap. That's not how we operate. So as a result, we've come across as soft and easy to control. And that appearance has allowed them to take advantage of spineless, gutless politicians on our side. Okay? But, back on racism. The left is comprised of racist. There's no other way to state that. Just listen to them speak. When they type something on social media 
And we've all had someone on social media call us a racist, a bigot, a homophobe. They mean it. They're not just using it to try and silence you. They mean it. They believe you are a racist because that's all they've grown up with and they know they can say it and get away with it. Well, they're finding out now the overwhelming majority of Americans that are tired of being called racist are starting to fight back. Which is what a good portion of the left has been hoping for. But make no mistake about it. As you listened to all the anti-Americans spewing their crap about the president's speech on July 4th. And then all the libtards on social media everywhere. Make no mistake they believe the president is a racist with zero evidence the entire man's life, overwhelming evidence to the contrary, and we're racist because we voted for him. Because if we're voting for someone they deem a racist, then we must be racist by default. But yet, every group you see on the left, every terror organization, the BLMs, the Antifas, the Pink Pussy Hats, all of them are racist. They make no mistake. They don't put any shade on it. They don't care because they're liberals. They can't be racist because they're woke. But make no mistake, they are the racist. Now I'm not going to lump every single libtard as a racist. But the ones who are not must prove themselves to us. Because your silence to me you're not speaking out against the vitriol, the hatred, and the racism coming out of your party is affirmation, confirmation to me that you agree with what they're saying. I don't want to hear, I can't speak out against them, I'll be an Uncle Tom. Well, then maybe you ought to get out of the damn party and move to a group that doesn't care what color you are, what sex, there's two by the way, what nationality, it doesn't matter to us. Be a human being, get treated like a human being. Respect. It's a two-way street. Okay? I have no respect for the left. Nobody on the left. Do I believe every person who designates themselves as a Democrat, is a racist, a bigot, a phobe, an anti-American? No. But I'm not going looking for them. That's like a needle in a haystack. Proof to me. Get off the plantation. There's plenty of folks leaving. But make no mistake, I know I've said that a lot, This, it is time for us to stand up for ourselves. Okay? The libtards know we're not racist bigots. Everything they call us is what they are. That's what Democrats do. They project. Always. That's what they have. That's all they have. Name a thought, an idea, anything that they mention that's good for the country. None. They have none. Everything they ever come up with is a power grab, a money grab, total control grab. Once again, 
how do you control, how do you govern a country and people that you hate? Imagine you're a parent who hates your children. How do you raise them? Imagine you're a teacher who hates the country. How do you teach them? Imagine you're a military officer who doesn't love the country or their troops, but you're going to be sending folks into battle or supposedly defending our nation. And I'm going to tell you straight up, I got those three quotes from Tucker Carlson. He did something very similar yesterday, nailed it. How do you govern a country and a people that you hate? We need to think about that because where do you see it going? It's going to get worse. What are we going to do? We can't take any more of their crap. Where's it headed? Everything you see happening is connected. Everything. There are no coincidences. So, had to do that early morning ramp. I'm fired up. Workout was done. I got stuff to do. But that is... Nobody wants to speak the truth. Because they're afraid of what's going to be said. I don't care. The truth hurts. You can have your own set of ideas, but you can't have your own set of facts to go with your ideas. It is what it is. Until we admit that the left is based on racism, hatred, bigotry, anti-Americanism. We got to stand up and proclaim it. No, we don't have to take banners and planes flying around. We know it, but we just don't have to be silent anymore. It's time to start calling them all out and whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Whether we stand up for ourselves or not right now, it's going to happen. But we're not going to survive if we let them bring the game to us. You don't win on defense. We need to go on offense. And admitting who your enemy is, is the first part. Because if you can't admit who your enemy is, then what are you doing? And who are you doing it against? Identify the enemy. Then we go from there. We've got to stop being silent. Alright? Whew! Okay. So... Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm sure I'll get some feedback on this one. I hope I do. But, for now, JT, signing off.